Good morning. Morning. Kellen's been awake for like 12 minutes. Where are we at, yo? Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. That's right. It's awesome. Um, it is 7.46 a.m. The sun rises here at 5 a.m. So uh, we weren't supposed to even get up and start driving till 7.30, but the sun was beaming in my face. So I got up and started driving. It was about a 45 minute drive up to Mount Rushmore. And we're here. We're the first RV in the park today, or at least right now. So if you're not first, you're last. Shake and bake. You ready? Yep. What do you want to say to all the hundreds of fans out there? Millions, trillions. He doesn't think that's accurate. Let's go see Mount Rushmore. Now we're rolling. Well, we made it inside the uh, monument. It's very peaceful in here this morning. And um, it's that's huge. That's really big. Hey, you know what? Let's make, let's make a, you know, a tribute to these four great men. Let's do it outside Rapid City in the top of this rock face, you know? Yeah. Okay, view of George Washington's face. Pretty cool. Literally, it's it's pretty cool in here. And a little bit of who is that? Jefferson. You see Jefferson from there? Yep. I see his right eye. That's Lincoln. Sorry, Mr. Lincoln. You're right. We're on the presidential trail, making our way around. Just came out of the cave. This is the Lincoln Observation Terrace. It, they're big. Goodness gracious. This is more of a walkway than a trail. Well done. All the brickwork and stone. Uh huh. What's up here? Let's go that way. This might be the end. This might be that trail here. We saw that it kind of wraps around and up. Uh-huh. Kellen, are you out of breath? Yeah. Presidential trail on the back side. There's a lot of stairs there. A lot of stairs. We're going through the little state's walkway now. It's definitely getting busier. A lot of people are starting to come in. Um, it took us about 45 minutes. You know, and we're gonna go hit the gift shop, but I, I mean, you could do like there are ranger guided stuff, but it doesn't start until nine and nine o'clock, and uh, we've got a lot of stuff we gotta hit today, so we're gonna pass on that. But if you do wanna come and do all the guided tours, you could spend a few hours here for sure. Uh, there's food services and everything, but we did the self guided, and now we are gonna we're gonna cruise. What'd you think about it? It was pretty cool. Yeah, it's definitely something to see for sure. Like some sight to behold. Oh, I just got service. <laughs> but now uh, we'll do a little shopping, see if we can find a postcard, maybe a magnet for me. See what Kellen can find. It's back on the road. Gift shop. Yeah, it's hot in here. Okay. Hey, what's up? Hey. Uh, we are now. I, I don't really know where we Continue are. On I just need way for five miles. So we, we've still got a ways to go, but we're making our way to Bear Butte, and we just got off the interstate, and we're on these dirt roads, which I didn't expect. Um, hopefully this is going to where we're supposed to be going to. Yeah. We're gonna find out pretty soon. There's. Yeah, this is what it looks like though. We're out in the middle of the rural residential area. They're, having, they're watering the roads today, I guess, whatever that is. Probably to keep it from vehicles and dust. It's weird. We're doing it though. We'll see how we can do passing a giant semi. 
of water in the RV. Okay, so we are now at Fair Butte State Park. State Park. Pretty. I don't know where the trail goes, but we're gonna go up that trail. rolling. All right. Visitor Center was cool. There's a lot of um, Native American history in there. We weren't allowed to film inside the Visitor Center, um, but we did see that this land was purchased as a homestead by the Bovey family, and then the state of South Dakota purchased it from them, I think in 68, and then they built the Visitor Center and dedicated it in 69, 1969. And then the trail we're about to do was uh, built in 1971. Pretty awesome. I can, I can think I can I hear music. Um, sounds like Native American music. So they used this trail or this location as a meeting point for Native to discuss how to uh, handle the encroaching white men. And Crazy Horse would use the butte as a prayer site to pray and meditate on how to lead his people. A pretty significant spot. Hey, bud. Hey. What do you think? Tiring. Yes, we are not very far up, uh. but it's like straight up. And then we just started a switchback. A row of switchbacks here. We just came up that trail from the bottom. You can see you can see the parking lot. Like we've already gained a lot. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a good one. Another sip of water, and you're ready to go. As your hat says, it's legit. Hashtag non-spawn. Well, we've made it to our summit. You can go higher, you can actually get all the way up there, but I believe Kellen and I have conquered the mountain that we have chosen to conquer today, don't you think? Yeah. This is a, this is a good hike, like it's strenuous. It is very, very cool. You guys can see, uh, we are extremely high. The RV, let's see if we can zoom in for y'all. That's the visitor center. There's the RV. You can see the flags. Down there. And we are up here. Yeah, up here. And it is like we are straight up here. Like I can <laughs> It's it's good hike straight up. We just came from over on this side. Kind of spotting with the uh, glasses. The old Binox. We were just over here looking across the valley on this side and we saw two golden eagles. We didn't think to uh, grab the camera because we were just enjoying them. But that was pretty awesome. You guys will look at the valley from over here. So this is Bear Butte outside of Sturgis, uh, South Dakota. But you guys can understand now why Crazy Horse would come here to pray and meditate. The views are very much like Big Side. There's the buffalo herd. That's as good as the zoom's gonna do for us today. If you guys are ever out here, it's definitely a hike worth your time. Uh, it's very strenuous, so be ready. Be careful. Yeah, be careful. And the ground is very loose, very rocky, very loose. Um, go slowly. Um, if you have trekking poles, this would be a time to use them, I think. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, what else would you tell them about the trail? Anything? Any other tips? Um, there's some pretty good shady spots. Yeah, use the shady spots for breaks. Bring plenty of water. Um, yeah. And yeah, good hiking shoes. Like, I wouldn't wear anything that you couldn't go on rocks with. Like, we're wearing like trail runners, and it's the bare minimum, I would recommend. Because those rocks are sharp. 
sometimes I laugh at the people on YouTube about wearing their hiking shoes and we were kind of giggling about them over at the Badlands yesterday on all the the trails that were just man-made trails and they were wearing hiking shoes a uh, little over a little bit of overkill but this is the kind of place where on all these rocks that it might be a good call but it took us about no 40 minutes to get to this spot and um we took a number of breaks, probably five breaks, for two minutes or so. So if you wanted to go up there, plan for a couple hours, I would say. Bring food and water. But it's awesome. It's worth it. Check out Bear Butte. And binoculars are good. Yep, binoculars are good. So where do you give it a scale of 1 to 10 on this one, Kellen? 1 is extremely easy. 10 is hard. Mm -hmm. I give it about a 7. Yeah, that's, I'd say for sure. I'd give it a seven for sure. Um, beauty. One, not beautiful. Ten. Most people assume ten's the best. Yeah. Where do you put it on the beauty scale? I'd say a nine. Yeah, I compared it to when we were in the Rocky Mountain National Forest last summer, and the view from the top. Like, if you were up there, like, I think if you're up there, it's probably a 10 out of 10. Right up there. there. Uh, we're going to start hiking back down. Next stop, hopefully a time, Devil's Tower. We have arrived at our third attraction of the day. We're hoping that our um, America the Beautiful... National Parks Pass will get us in here. Say yes, I believe, I believe it will. Awesome. So we're just, and we don't have a lot of time. We've got probably a 10 minute drive up. We'll uh, do the Clark W. Griswold, take a good look at it, get the picture made, do a selfie, and then we're gonna have to pretty much drive straight back down the mountain and head to Gillette, because it's pretty much time for us to get set up for the event. So, but nonetheless, certainly worth the trip. This is this is great. Yeah. This is great. Tell everybody what uh, JC was telling about the, uh, the legend. So the legend is two Indian women were being chased by a bear. Hello. Hey, how are you? We're wonderful. How are you today? Good. Are you guys camping here? No, no. We're just taking a look and then heading to Gillette. Oh, oh, oh. The cards there. Thanks. And then you loop all the way through the main parking lot, and that's where the RV parking is. Thanks very much. You're welcome. And so the legend is to Indian woman were being chased by a bear, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Bear. Yep. A bear. Um, and they got and they got on a rock, and the rock grew. They prayed to the gods to save them. Yeah. And, uh... And the rock grew, yep. And, and then you can see the bear's claw marks. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. So thanks to everybody in Rapid City for encouraging Kel and I to come here to Delphi's Tower, because it is awesome. We got our postcard, our magnet, and Kellen got some mints. We actually had like a 3D, you can see this on the camera. Or a, uh, like a Oh yeah, you can see it. Of the bear like climbing up on the mountain, so it's pretty sweet. And um, if you look at it, you can totally see the claw marks. So that thing's pretty amazing. Devil's Tower here, yeah, in the middle of nowhere. National Forest, Devil's Tower, just Google it. Google Devil's Tower National Monument, outside of Gillette. It should be in the Badlands and not here. It's pretty bad. I mean, it's, it's a totally different kind of rock though, obviously. Yeah, it's more like limestone than, yeah. We will Google that. You guys Google that at home. Yep. Okay. Devil's Tower is formed by magma.
Magma. Magma. Yeah. That's what formed it. So what type of rock is it? This one just says it's formed by magma. Deal. Well, that's awesome. We're in the RV. I gotta drive. Kellen, you're directing. Okay. We'll see you guys in Gillette. 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 The best a man can get. Double, double what? Rainbow, I almost fell. Are you videoing? Yes. Double rainbow! We're here in Gillette, Wyoming. We just finished players meeting in a pouring down rainstorm. These guys are awesome because they're still here. Double rainbow. Freaking awesome. Um, it is dinner time, bedtime, whatever y'all do when it's still daylight at my bedtime. At home, it's that time. Um, we're gonna pay everybody out real quick. If you haven't done it yet, um, Casey, turn that uh, iPad down for me, bud. You're my guy. Thank you, bud. Um, if you guys haven't done it yet, um, make sure you like, follow uh, the Dynamic Disc Chase the Chains Facebook page. I'm just one of a team of drivers that travel all over the country and, and do events and have fun and that kind of thing. So make sure you follow that. I had a kid from uh, Sioux Falls, on Sunday that had played at my events in three different states just as he's been on vacation or at nice. work or whatever yeah. so just because he knew it was there so if you haven't liked that page you never know when you're gonna bump into one of us that are out here on the road so check that out um, yeah. if you guys want to follow me all my social handles are just Titus so Instagram uh, Twitter Facebook you'll find my stuff I do a totally non disc golf but sometimes disc golf podcast called the casual round the buddy of mine from Denver and uh, we sometimes vlog when I'm really feeling sharp. So you can check that out too. Uh, thank you guys so much. Michael's thanked me way too many times for coming out tonight, but I really do appreciate you guys. Disc golf, it, for me, is this. This is, this is what it's about. It's, it's grassroots, it's growing it, and making it get bigger, like I said, during the player meeting. So just keep doing this, keep having fun with each other. When you see the new people, invite them to play with you. Because like I said, you never know. Like They're all gonna show up and play one day. They're gonna help out, It'll be a big deal, all right? So, Keep doing what you're doing, take care of the parks, be nice to the city, and be nice to us, the, 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 the disc golf us, right? The, the disc golf us. Um, but yeah, just keep doing what you're doing, guys, because this is good. You guys are all, I saw everybody smiling, everybody having fun uh, with each other, the whole crew. Not, not clicky, which is cool. I love that. We're going to pay out the top three teams, so half the field. Our third place finisher, last cash, Mike and Jen, five bucks each, come on down. Is that, back, back cashing nights, bro. Cashing. <laughs> two states, two nights. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, and then our second place finisher, ten bucks each. We got in a playoff. Jason and Lance. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Rapid coming over, taking the money. Look at these guys. First place finishers. We had Casey and Jordan the playoff, fifteen dollars each. Congratulations, five up for these guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, Buddha. We're the next.